Hey, this is Brandon Ives. I want to share a real quick idea with you as a life insurance agent who also sells personal lines like home and auto insurance. There's an easy way to transition your auto conversation into a conversation about life insurance and more needs-based conversations around protection and insurance. Most of the time when you work with an auto customer, you are going to engage with them in a conversation about coverages. Coverages like liability coverage, comprehensive collision coverage. And, you know, you're probably going to throw in there, would you like roadside assistance? Would you like, you know, any type of rental car reimbursement? All of those are great coverages to discuss with an auto client, but it is a really easy time to bring up coverage about life insurance and have conversations with them about it. So if I was having a conversation with a client, I would be doing a needs-based conversation, trying to figure out how we can solve problems on their auto insurance, and I'm going to look for opportunities for other coverages. I'm going to go into an explanation of coverage through the fact-finding or needs analysis portion, and I'm going to transition into reminding them about what coverages are and why they're important. After I do comprehensive and collision insurance, I'm going to ask one question. The question is going to be this. As an auto insurance provider, there are lots of companies that provide a benefit that would give your family $10,000 of coverage if you were to pass away in a car accident. Would this be something of interest to you, especially since the cost is typically less than a dollar a month to add it on? Around 73% of people are going to say yes to that question. And that's awesome and that's great. The real magic is this. If you ask a second question, you can say, would you like your family to receive that money even if I passed away in something other than a car accident? If you ask that question, nine out of 10 people will say yes to the second question if they said yes to the first one. That's very important for you because you want to qualify this person as a life insurance potential client. And by asking those two questions, you will find out very quickly if they have interest in life insurance and protecting their family with money if they were to pass away. Now, we know that 63% of individuals in America are underinsured or have no insurance. And we can't rely on their employer to be the one who takes care of that issue for them. So we want to ask a third question. We want to ask them if they have life insurance coverage through work. Most companies, and this is the way I would do it, I would say most companies provide some type of life benefit if you were to pass away. It's usually between one and three years of your income. Does your employer currently offer that to you? So that's the third question I would ask. And if they say yes, and they tell me they have, I don't know, one, two years of their income, I'm going to respond, that's wonderful that your company does that. If they say no, that's fine too. And if they say, well, I don't know, I can still respond to that. Well, your company may or may not do that. That's okay. It's usually one to three years of coverage. The fourth question now is vitally important. You're going to want to ask, that's great that your company provides, you know, one, two, three years. It really doesn't matter how much life insurance for you. If you were to pass away today, how many years would your family need to replace your income? They're going to tell you more than one, two or three years. They're going to say, well, it'll be, you know, 10 years or 12 years, depending on how old their children are or how long they have left on their mortgage or how long they want to take care of their spouse or significant other. Doesn't really matter what the relationship is. What matters is you want to figure out how many years of income they need to replace. We know we typically can provide an infinite replacement of income if we have life insurance in place that would cover 10 to 12 years of their income and we can invest that money and it will produce enough to take care of their family and you know perpetuity. So 
if you ask that question and they say, well, 10 years or 12 years or 15 years, that's all great news for you because your response is going to be this. It is wonderful that your employer has provided one, two or three years of coverage to protect you. I'm going to make sure we have options available for you to take care of that gap of the other eight, 10, 12 years that you need to be protected for to take care of your family the right way. And then I'm going to continue on in the conversation with the client about auto insurance because they've already given me permission to look at options for life insurance and they've already told me in a very easy way what their need is. So when I come back and I present the solutions to their problem, I'm going to present the auto solution and the cost for that. I'm going to provide the renter's policy or the homeowner's policy that will take care of their family's need. And then I'm going to remind them that I'm also going to have a solution to take care of the insurance need they told me they need to take care of the life insurance for the 8, 10, 12 years of insurance. And I'm going to be able to do that within five minutes using Ethos Platform. So we have a very simple solution to the problem they have expressed, and we have gotten there by asking four questions. And if they say no at any point during those four questions, you simply know they're not a life insurance candidate. But the beauty of asking those four questions and in the way you do, it will overcome the most common objection they have, which is, I already have insurance at work. Because guess what? They've just told you they have a need that exceeds that life insurance they have at work. And you can help solve the problem for individuals who are uninsured but also underinsured because they think they're taken care of when they're really not through that work life insurance policy. I hope this helps you get an idea of how to ask the right questions and at the right time to grow your life insurance business alongside your property and casualty agency. And if you have questions, feel free to reach out. I'll be happy to assist you. Hope you have a wonderful day. And once again, I'm Brandon Ives and happy to help you. Take care.